Joining me now is Martha Cho, the Chief Administrative Officer for Foundation Operations, overseeing the planning, construction, and operation of the new Gates Foundation campus. Uh, and welcome. I uh, have had the opportunity here over the last two and a half years, uh, I guess maybe even a little bit longer, of watching uh, the new headquarters rise up. And uh, it's, it's just a tremendous facility. Having it here in Seattle, the importance for Bill and Melinda Gates to have it, particularly even here close to Seattle Center in downtown Seattle. Talk about why that was so important. This location was a very deliberate decision that Bill and Melinda made because they wanted to be right in the heart of the city. I think it reflects their uh, their roots here, their local roots, and their passion for the city. We do so much with our local partners here, and so we looked at a number of sites, but they wanted to be in the heart of the city, and of course, being across from Seattle Center um, is especially meaningful because it's such a public place for the city. Now, I guess, I don't know how many people knew this beforehand, but uh, the foundation operations have been spread out uh, since it really started and kind of has gone from very small to as it's grown from one place to another. So this ties everything together? We've been in five buildings for a number oh of years. Gosh. And so it's the first time we have brought everybody in one location and that's one of the most exciting things about it. We have a sense of um, kind of a unified foundation. Uh, we, we started this process back in 2004, so it's been a long time coming when Bill and Melinda realized that we would grow to the point where we would need a headquarters. So um, it's exciting to see everybody together and to be in a place that was designed for our work. Um, we've got quiet spaces for our, our program officers who need to read grant proposals. We do lots of collaboration with our grantees and partners, and so we've got collaboration spaces. We've got a conference center that we expect to hold 900 meetings of our grantees and partners, mm. advisors, right on our, our campus. And then we've got a visitor center because we know the public is really interested in our work. So we want to tell the story of the foundation and actually um, explain why we're doing what we're doing and then inspire them to be involved. Now, I park in the parking lot right across from the foundation's new headquarters. And as I drive out, I noticed this just recently, I saw some really nice art. Mm, yes. And, and, and is that an important part of making that facility uh, also reflect the work? Well, I think it uh, reflects our work and it's also, um, I think, an acknowledgement that we are uh, a more public presence and we wanted to be um, uh, a good neighbor. And so we're mindful of, of the presence that we have and we're excited to have local artists. So for example, Marie Watt uh, is uh, using an installation of blankets, including donations from foundation employees oh, really? to tell a story of, uh, based on the potlatch and giveaways uh, that the Native Americans use for blankets. So it's really exciting to have local artists on the campus. Uh, I understand that in building this facility that it was meant to last a hundred years. We have a long-term vision, uh, both of our work, and we wanted uh, the campus to, to reflect that. You know, we're taking on some tough um, issues, and there's a sense of, of bold optimism that Bill and Melinda have and everybody at the foundation has. And so the building actually reflects that, that optimism in its design, and it reflects, again, our local roots and our global mission with arms reaching out to every part uh, of the organization of, of the world. Um, so yes, we wanted this to have a lasting impact just as we want the impact that we're doing in global health and global development and our U.S. programs to have a long-term impact. Now, we're talking what, about 900 employees that have moved or 1,000 or so? What? We'll move about 1,200 people okay. in uh, by, uh, by the mid middle of this year. And at your capacity? We'll have about 1,500, so we've got room to grow. And you have two buildings now that you've built, but your possibility of a third? We have space to accommodate a third building. Um, we haven't made a decision when that is, but uh, we're working on the design so that it's consistent and complementary for uh, the two buildings. Now, I know a lot of work uh, has gone into making this a sustainable facility. Uh, and uh, if you drive by uh, on Fifth Avenue, you can see the roof of the, even the parking garage that has the you know, uh, lawn up on top. And talk about some of these sustain sustainable aspects of it all. We've designed and built the building with a deep commitment to the environment, to sustainability. So the living roofs that you see um, reduce the impervious surfaces, and so it catches the rain. We've got about a, a little less than an acre and a half. We've got a million gallon water storage facility. Oh, wow. 
So we've had a lot of rain, so we've got a lot of rain to collect. <laughs> yeah. And that's going to be used to, to water the plants, for our toilets, for our water features. We've got lots and lots of other features to reduce our consumption of energy. And we've also um, provided incentives to our employees to, to get to work in ways other than a single occupancy vehicle. So we're very proud that we've got a, a LEED Gold rating. And again, uh, reflects our commitment to sustainability. So in having that LEED Gold rating, I mean, that uh, not a lot of facilities you know, put the money in to do all of this. I take it that was very crucial as far as, you know, building this facility and how it would reflect, particularly here in the Northwest. It was an integral part of our thinking and the vision of the campus and the design and the construction. And, you know, just another interesting um, statistic is 95% of the construction materials in building this were recycled. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't just the final product, but it was all the way through the process. With this facility downtown, and um, what do you want it, to say to not just the city but to the region as far as far as what the impact that the foundation wants to have but what it means here well again um, I think what it, it shows is our commitment to the city of Seattle and to the region to physically be here and invest in this campus for the long term I think it reflects our, our history of local roots of the Gates family uh, and their commitment to the local um, community here but also to reflect that we have a global mission um, so it's both our local roots and our global mission. And um, I think we hope to inspire, um, not only through the design of the building, but through our visitor center, which will be open later this year. You know, a lot of people are curious about our work. Yeah. And so we want to tell our story. Um, how did it uh, start? What do we do? Why do we choose global development, global health in U.S.? And then mostly we want to inspire people. Um, they may have an hour of their time. They may have some resources. And we want to encourage people to think about all the creative ways they can get involved. Um, and so we're excited about engaging in a more public way with people who are interested in our work. All right. Martha Cho, thank you very much for your time and um, best of luck. Thank you.